Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swingbird, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Whoa, it's like an explosion of... It just seems like there's a lot of flowers out here. I am wearing a Kaneda outfit. <laughs> I had this cool, this uh, QR code that I wanted to use, and I had some other clothes that looked like the biker kind of punk outfit. So I figured I would wear that before I change my hair, uh, since it fits that character right now. Um, let's see, we got a couple letters. There's one from Tangy. Oh, because I sent her some mail. Hey there, Adam. That sweet letter you sent me, uh, you sent has me happy beyond words. No doubt you're gonna be super happy after reading this amazing letter from me. Make sure you're right back from Tangy. That's some nice, like, koi or goldfish paper. Let's, uh, throw away this one and grab... Oh, Graham, I also sent him a shirt. Graham's actually wearing his, whereas Tangy just put hers in her house. Let's check this out. To the shy Adam, I tasted the harmony in the words you wrote for me. To me, writing a letter is just like exercise, so I'm sure to stretch before either. Did you, did my words soothe you by your side, Graham? That's a little creepy. Okay, so today, like I mentioned, I'm gonna get my hair cut because the new salon Shampoodle opened up. Oh, I want to show you guys, yesterday, I got this, you probably glimpsed it. My final Pikmin hat, the yellow Pikmin hat. <laughs> Pretty awesome. I'll probably wear that on another day, but I want to keep my head exposed so that, uh, that sounded weird, so that <laughs> I will be able to, uh, get my hair cut here and see what it looks like. There's a beehive there. Anyways, let's actually, you know, we could start with that. The other thing that happened is the dream suite got made, so I'm gonna have to go check that out, but I'm gonna save that for another video because I feel like I don't want to, I don't want to overload this one with too much new stuff. Space it out a little. The dream suite is completed! Uh, it looks like the rainy weather's let up. Okay. It didn't- there was no announcement that Shampoodle got built. Weird. I'm just gonna go check the campsite while I get a nice look around town and see what's going on. I just like to see if anybody's camping each day. And- yes! Okay, we got a new camper. Cross your fingers, guys. I hope this is a good one, because I have one more slot for a villager. And if this is one that I want... <gasps> Whoa! Who is this guy? Because he's pretty cool. What's his music playing? Oh, he's got KK Condor going. He looks like he's from, like, South America or something. He's got, like, the Nazca lines going on. What's this guy? Avery. I heard the local specialty is one of my favorites, the pear. I love this town. He's pretty cool, but I don't know if I want to use my last villager on him. I don't know. The best part of camping is easily the food you get to eat. I wonder why eating outside makes everything taste so much better. All right. I'm trying to see if I can play a game with him. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we take your beehive and play a game? How about pick a bell? Any bell. In my hand, I have four cards. Each one uh, has a price written on it. The price on the card you pick is the price I'll pay for your beehive. Alright. Let's try it. My favorite suit was always spades whenever I would play cards. So I'm going to go with spades. Bam. What's the price? Whoa, that's pretty good for a beehive. Oh, thank you, sir. Take that beehive off my hands. I was just gonna go sell it, but nice. Alright. I really like KK Condor is one of my favorite songs. Screeha! <laughs> That's a pretty cool catchphrase. He has a really crazy pattern. I like him. Anyways, I'll come back and mess with him later, but yeah, ugh. I'm tempted to have him move in because he's a cool eagle hawk condory guy and uh, some type of bird of prey. And I don't have one yet, but I. There's also space if I get rid of other villagers, I guess. I don't know. I'm torn, guys. He's he's only going to be here this one day, so I'm going to have to make my mind up pretty soon. Uh, there's a couple of villagers I, I'd like to have replaced with new ones, but we'll have to see about that. Oh, I forgot. TNT Mart's remodeling. And if you look at the map, we've got two new things, the Dream Suite and Shampoodle. So let's head in. Oh, look at that. It's got a cool little, little thing going on, little barbershop thing. Let's start with this little automatic door. No wonder it took three days or whatever <laughs> for her to build it. She had to make an automatic door. Hey there, sugar. Welcome to Shampoodle. Oh my, aren't you the mayor? It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. My name's Harriet and this is my salon. I help people wear their inner beauty on the outside. If you want to make her sit down in that chair in front of my little machine. <laughs> I need to, like, come up with the voices before I, uh, I go talk to people. Oh, oh, you don't need to wait. You can help your update. Uh, I can help you update your look right this second. Okay, I just wanted to sit on this pizza looking stool. Oops. Dang it. <laughs> but yeah, I think that voice fits her. She's a salon lady. She's got a cool little... How's it going? I get all the details on what you want and how you want it when you're sitting in the chair, huh? 
Oh, I forgot the Shampoodle. It has like a very retro-y song to it. What can I do for you today, sugar? Perhaps a new sta hairstyle or some special makeup. The makeup is to turn the like me hat or the me thing on your face, I think. I'm gonna do a new hairstyle. And I'm gonna do this without looking up any of the stuff. I'm just gonna try to see what I get. So we're gonna update your look with a new hairstyle. That just then just leave it to me. My hairstyling back costs three thousand includes the shampoo, cut, color, and stuff. Alright. It's kind of ex well, it's not too expensive considering how many bells. Hee <laughs> hee. I wonder how you like the change. Let me know, uh, or hear about the image of who you want to be. First, tell me the overall look you're looking for. I want a more... Let's try a more cash look. Just about there. I see. A bit on the casual side, then. Being too serious is stifling, so you can achieve a nice balance by toning that down a bit. By the way, what's your room like? It's a bit on the messy side, or is your room kind of clean? My room's kind of messy. I have a lot of stuff. Oh, do tell, sugar. Now, I'm even more interested in what your room's like. Mm, is she hitting on me? So, it is it is messy, but you'd actually prefer if it were cleaned up. Or is it just messy on purpose? Uh, it's on purpose. I have so much stuff everywhere. I see, so you'd like your hair to have a messy sort of feel to it. Okay, I can totally picture the hairstyle in my head now. Now then, you need to pick out a hair color. What kind of color really speaks to you? Um, if we're going whole hog, we might as well do an intense color. For intense colors, how about the following? I like the color of a forest. It's probably going to be green. Understood. Now I know exactly what you want. Let's start styling. Alright. Let's see what happens. She doesn't do, like, anything. This machine does everything for her. Whoa! <laughs> That's actually kind of a cool little hairstyle. Ta-da! Yep, you look both fabulous and totally different. That would be 3,000 bells. Alright, all done. I kind of like this. <laughs> it's pretty cool. That's a nice color green. It's a little punk hairstyle. Give me all your money that I just paid you. Adam, you look one rank nicer than before. Alright, see you later. Uh, on, Re <laughs> on Reddit, they did like a poll of all the Animal Crossing characters to see what people, like, which character people like the most. Isabel did really well, even though she's very new. Um, but Harriet got zero. She was the only character with zero votes. Unfortunately, <laughs> I like the Shampoodle shop, but yeah, it's just not like my favorite character or anything. What do we got over here? This is nice, little basic vibe of the Chevron style. What's the one? It's like a is this a, like a piano shirt or something? A zipper shirt. But that would look pretty cool with my new hairstyle. I look like from some 80s band or something. No thanks. I'm gonna keep my uh. My Kaneda jacket on for now. What are these pants? Kung Fu pants! Oh, that's sweet. I gotta get those so I can go do Tai Chi in the park and beat up the animals. Oh, hi. Did you find anything fancy to wear, buddy? So what's on your mind? I just want to chat. You like my new hairstyle? You always try and close before you buy them, right? The one time I didn't, well, there are pictures. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Adam, welcome. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. I did a bunch of QRs yesterday. You may not know this, but people are known to slack off the most on Tuesdays. It's true. If a seamstress is going to make a mistake, you can bet your buttons it'll be on Tuesday. Mother used to say that like it was some sort of ancient wisdom. I didn't realize Tuesday. I thought most people... I guess they have energy on Monday, even though they don't want to be there at their job. But Tuesday, they slack off. What? <laughs> is that like a babushka baby bonnet? A red hood. <laughs> I'm going to try this on. Danielle would probably like this, too. <laughs> I kind of look like, um, I kind of look like, uh, Daruma, or, like, one of the Daruma things. If I had, like, a mustache, that would be perfect. And this is just a pilot's hat, right? Yeah, I think I had one of those before, or it was in the shop before, but I've got my cool fighter pilot hat, so I don't need that. And then there's some crazy steampunk goggles. It looks like, yep, steampunk glasses. Sure, I'll take those. Might as well. Let me see what they look like on me, even though I just bought them. Not bad. <laughs> They're way too big. <laughs> this is what we, like, imagined we would be wearing on our face in the future. And then now we have Google Glass, which is just, like, one little lens on your head. Alright, so we can't go in the one shop. We can check out Kicks real quick. And then, uh, I think tomorrow I'm gonna... I'll, we can maybe do a Dream Suite. You know what? We should... Let's, uh... Hello, chum. What the heck are these? Some hiking gators. Are these... Is this actually what, like, hikers wear? 
They look kind of strange, like they're like lady. I don't know. Anyways, there's a lot of shoes that I've already seen. I seem to keep getting the same shoes. Like I hope there's more shoes in the game than I'm seeing. Uh, anyways, let's uh, let's actually go and check out the uh, the stuff in my little uh, happy home plaza because I meant to do this uh, one of these days. I've got some new people here, and uh, Danielle's house has probably been updated too. So let's go check this out. I'll double up. I, I'm, I'll probably try to be quick in some of these houses so that we don't go too long. But uh, I figured the shampoodle, like that was the, uh, it's not going to fill a video, obviously. So I want to try to double up. And then tomorrow we'll do the Dream Suite and maybe visit Nintendo's town. Let's see. Oh, some new home remodeling is also taking place. Whoa, okay. I thought there were some more people over here. Maybe there aren't. I'm Danny from Sparkles. <laughs> She's got a little flower on her head. Is she giving me something? Oh, a little bear bag. Thank you. What did I... <gasps> Bubbles! Sweet. I'm going to mark her as a favorite. Yes. I forgot to do that. Thank you. Aw, she gave me some bubbles. Alright, I'm going to head over and look at the homes. I'm pretty sure I got a couple people from Nintendo. See, what I did was I went over here and... Uh, it saved, and then I was like, oh, this would be the perfect time to reset, because I, I wanted to show this, but it... Oh, there they are. Here's the one guy. Rich from Ramberg. And then, uh, who's the other person? Oh, that's Reggie. There's another... There's, like, a lady over here somewhere, too. There she is. I think these were Nintendo employees. Chris from Clover. Because I definitely didn't, uh... I didn't go and, you know, meet anyone in Street Pass, so these are... Spot Pass? I, I mix them up. Street Pass, I think, is when you actually... Go buy people. And spot passes the download. Oh, she's got a nice dark lucky cat. A lucky black cat. Ooh, scary. No music playing in here. Hmm. Her house is very like it's organized like an, an actual person's like an old lady's house kind of. That's very thoughtfully decorated. Is this her kitchen? Yeah, she actually hasn't finished upgrading her house. There's some merm she's got a lot of the mermaid stuff I noticed, but uh, I'm guessing she's from Nintendo since they. To put her thing up for download. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. I might steal her cat though. That's that's a pretty cool little cat. I got the golden one, but I like the black one too. Let's check it out. We got a bathroom, a little tub. What's this? Probably just the sink, right? A bathroom sink. Can I get in the shower? That would be crazy. I can definitely sit on the toilet. <laughs> I'm a really fast pooper, guys. I bet you, you didn't know that about me. Anyway, <laughs> it, like, flushes immediately. I didn't even touch it. And then she's got an upstairs, but she doesn't have a basement. So, yeah, she's she's definitely not done with her house yet. Let's see what else is cool. And then we'll go check out... Whoa! She's got an outside area. A little campfire. Yeah. It just It goes to show how much money... Even the people who've been playing the game early, like the Nintendo developers and st or the localization staff, haven't finished their houses. It's so much money. It's like 7 point something million to do your whole house. Oh. This is K.K. Moody? Yep. Haha. <laughs> I, I listened to a lot of the K.K. songs because I was trying to... Oh, there's a GameCube on that shelf. I was trying to figure out which one I wanted to uh, to, to get the most. And I think I know there's two that I really want, and they're both new ones that I hadn't that, that are new with New Leaf, and I hadn't heard them before. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick one of them. It's gonna be like Sophie's choice, but not anything that extreme. But <laughs> I gotta I gotta pick one of them this this Saturday, and uh, check it out. Thanks, Chris. Your house is nice. I'm gonna blow some bubbles on it right in your face. Bam. <laughs> All right, let's check out uh, Rich's house if he would move. Reggie. Get him out of here. Reggie, you're my muscle. Get that guy out of here. It's cool that they wander around. Rich's house actually doesn't look... It looks very similar to mine in a lot of ways, and it doesn't look that big. So it might be pretty... Whoa. He's got a par pyramid. It's a theremin. Whoa. Let's turn that off. What is this thing? Oh, it's a conveyor belt sushi thing. That's so cool. I want that. Skyroids are all dancing. He's got a pretty zany little thing here. There's an electric chair set up with a tabletop game. <gasps> Mario Pinball. Sweet. That's definitely Mario on there. That's the original Famicom cover for Super Mario Brothers. And 
there's a shark in the corner. He actually has a basement, though. He, he decided to go for the basement before the side rooms. I'm not sure what I'm going to do if I get the choice. What's going on down here? I like this one. It's a mega sputnoid. Oh, I think he was turned on. And I messed him up. Whoa, pipe organ. Is this where he plays his concert stall, his gyro? <laughs> There's something weird going on in this house. He's like, got all these little gyroid assistants and he's, he might be an evil genius because he stole a pyramid it looks like. Or he got it from Gulliver, whichever. Let's see what is upstairs. Oh, I want this bamboo thing. Oh, can I order his paintings? Because those are sweet paintings. And they're both fake it looks like actually. Because the, you see the one Kabuki one, he should definitely not be doing the like fingers pointing. Boop. This is KK Jongara, right? Yep. I really want that song. That's that's actually one of the two that I wanted to get. Spoilers. Anyways, and then uh, last but not least, let's go check out Danielle's house. I don't think it's very different from what it was, but uh, and then I might order some of this stuff before I go check out the rest of town. And tomorrow we will go uh, do the dream suite. I can actually start a new public works project if I wanted. Oh, where is Danny's house? Down here, right? That's Reggie's. Yeah, hers is this little one. Little cute little one. Let's head on in. I look so strange. <laughs> I it's like completely different looking from when I started the episode. Oh, she changed her floor. I wonder if she had Sahara come. Oh, she mentioned she spent like all of her money on this sword. <laughs> she bought like a ninja sword, but it's super expensive. Whoa! <gasps> Did you see those shuriken just fly out of nowhere? Did that really just hit the sword? Hold on. Let's try this again. Let's try to watch. Whoa! A ninja just attacked me. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. That's actually really cool. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. And we'll go dream a little dream of somebody's town. Goodbye. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My sighing joke is just a thing to cure what ails you. So I once got some advice from a respected man of the theater. He said to me, Shrunk, you'll never be a hit in a million years if all you do is mumble all the time. Well, I always belted out my jokes from then on end. Now, turns out mumbling wasn't my problem after all. <laughs> oh, waggity smaggity doo. Mm. Hey guys, uh, this little... This little eagle guy, he's got asthma. Oh, he needs my perfect Paris. Actually, we're playing a game to see if he'll move here. If I win, he moves here. If I lose, he takes my nine perfect pairs. Let's try it. That's the answer I wanted to hear. Let's play charades. Okay, I'm going to tell you... To try to tell you something using mostly gestures, understand? Watch closely, and guess well. You better be ready, because we are go for game time. When you're feeling a little... Drinky, it makes you boom. What is it? I bet it's coffee. When you're feeling a little bubbles out of your mouth, drinking it makes you shoot stars from your front and back of your head. It's probably chamomile tea, maybe or chocolate milk. Uh, tea makes you sleepy though. Oh, coffee. It's. <laughs> I thought it wasn't one of the choices. Correct. Nailed it. Well, that settles it. Once I break camp, I'm going home to pack for my move to Gustin. Sweet! We got a new villager! Da, 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 da. Now to get rid of another bird. Zoom in on face.